Welcome to this mobility site. The video first looks. Hey everybody, this is Chris with MobilitySite.com and I have the HTC Tilt 2 in front of you. This is the device that we did the hardware unboxing and first look at this past Friday and uh, here I am for the software tour. As you can see as I did that, the uh, screen rotation is pretty damn quick and I'm just going to show you just a basis, a brief uh, software tour here. Uh, Let's we'll start up here this is uh, HTC's little launcher here where if you've got open programs it'll be on a little drop down there and you can X to, cl to close them out and it gives you a little quick look at some of the uh, some of your uh, indications like your battery life and then you click over here towards the middle and you get your notifications it'll tell you you know I'm on AT&T I'm connected to mobility which is the name of my router and uh, battery life and here you bring up your start menu this is the new Windows Mobile 6.5 start menu. Kind of looked like a honeycomb back in the uh, earlier um, leaks that we saw out there. So, but anyway, this is uh, TouchFlow 3D on the front page. This one's kind of customized a little bit for AT&T to have their colors and background logo there. And here's your home screen. You can flick up there to see more of your calendar if you've got appointments and whatnot set. Your next tab is your people tab. And here you've got all your quick... Yeah, if I wanted to call Val Snow, I could just bam right there. And what happened there? Oh, there we go. And let's end that call. It senses away from my head. The proximity filter uh, sensor, um, or not away from my head, but somewhere my fingers made the proximity sensor believe that it was up to my head, which made it dim the uh, screen there. So anyway, you could add more. Uh, down here you would have a list of a couple that you have there and then you can flip through there as well to oops didn't mean to do that to see the others um, uh, that's that's it for the people tab and like I said this is pretty neat you can actually you know compose a message whatever whatever contacts information email addresses uh, cell phone number home number fax number whatever you could just quick dial from right there next tab is your uh, the one I skipped is your text messages uh, the next one here, and by the way, just to show you, I didn't show you this at first, you can take your finger and slide across here. My fingers are a little tacky right now, so, uh, but you can slide across and go where you want to go. So let's go to the next one is mail. And this brings up a little envelope. You can compose a message here or uh, bring your, open that up and see what it says there. Outlook, click on that and, well, anyway. My finger. I'm trying to do this through the viewfinder. I'm sorry. Um, and you've got your little preview here, a little, little envelope thing, which is always pretty neat. You can flick up and down. I'm sitting here telling. Oh, it's fixing to open up Outlook. I. Uh, why did it go into landscape mode? All right, I'm having a little problem here. Sorry, y'all. All right, let's go back here. <laughs> you can flip up and down. There we go. My fingers are a little. They're not totally dry. I know that sounds bad. A little perspiration kind of hurts here. Um, next tab is your AT&T or your AT&T tab. I need to stop trying to do this through the viewfinder and look directly at the device, right? This is where AT&T has all their custom written or built applications and, uh, and utilities. And most of them are paid services like AT&T Navigator. We're going to go ahead and cancel that and get out of here. Come on, get out of there. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll, uh, on an AT&T device, sorry, AT&T, but I'd hide that. You can do that in your settings. There I am skipping over. Here's your, good gracious alive, I am losing it today. Here, your internet tab. Um, by default, it uses uh, internet, or uh, excuse me, Opera. And you can set up some uh, push pages here. And there's some hacks to change what that looks like and all that, but I'm not into all that. Uh, here's your calendar. I usually end up closing that out too because I go by what appointments and whatnot I have on the front page there. Next tab is stocks. And they've went ahead and pre-populated AT&T, Microsoft, Yahoo, blah, blah, blah. Next tab is your photos and videos. Here's a photo I accidentally took on my keyboard. And you can flip through the photos like this right here, 
or you can just click on one of them and it'll open the actual image up and you can use your zoom bar which is down here to uh, zoom in and out and move it you can move it around like that right there so anyway we get back out of there oops I went all the way back to the home or you can, you can click here to use video camera mode or you can click here to actually take a picture and that brings up the picture taking um, interface you click there to take the picture click here to uh, bring up your options and whatnot and we'll get back out of there I keep meaning to hit back but I keep hitting home uh, the next tab is music and here you've got like a little cover flow oops a little cover flow rip off kind of like uh, from the iPod and you can actually play the songs from here uses Windows Media Player so then we got weather <clears throat> and you can set the weather up down here by hitting menu and adding a location or whatnot but we're not going to do that right now it says Birmingham you can see five day forecast there pretty cool uh, last update 32 minutes ago settings here's where you set up all your settings and whatnot and you can change your your uh, backgrounds and get rid of the uh, Death Star and whatever if you wanted to um, you got your communications manager which is always pretty nice looking for HTC devices uh, another thing if you want to go to this is the settings the HTC is kind of skinned for you here oops but if you want to go to Windows 6.5 settings this is how you get there you clicked on I clicked on all settings down there and uh, we can go back to this page instead of hit when you hit back on here instead of going back to touch flow setting page it takes you to the start menu so we'll get back here go back to settings and there you go about it tells you about touch flow 3d and Windows Mobile 6.5 and all that stuff and I don't think I actually hit the right page okay anyway next tab over is programs <clears throat> excuse me again this weather change is killing me this is um, kinda like a little quick start menu here and you've got a lot of extra buttons there and you can bring up this right here and if you want to set up a program let's say I want to set it up to uh, well, let's just say FM radio bam now I have an FM radio icon there so it's kinda similar to the iPhone a little bit with the icon thing but oops I clicked on Guitar Hero and this game is designed to be played in landscape mode so you gotta trick this you gotta get it in landscape mode and this is a free trial and it's not I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool game but it's a free trial AT&T puts a lot of trialware on your devices when you get them a lot of people like to go ahead and clear all that stuff by utilizing some kind of a patch to take everything out straight off the ROM to save memory and you know the bloat per se so anyway this is touch flow uh, that, that's on top of Windows Mobile 6.5 so now let's look and see this is the, the first indication of Windows, Windows 6.5 is this is your start menu instead of the drop down menu that you're used to up until 6.5, 6.1 and below now you have this and earlier versions of this that leaked out on the internet had like a little honeycomb background and made it look like that it's still got that same staggered look but it's not honeycomb anymore one thing that a lot of people complain about with the iPhone you can like hold down the icon and it'll start moving <coughs> all the icons and you can move, put them where you want here all you can do is move it to the top so Internet Explorer popped up to the top now so Internet Explorer has been updated I'm not going to demonstrate it but it's been updated and it's actually pretty nice it's still slower than Opera but it is much more rich than the old pocket Internet Explorer so the next thing I want to show you is in settings we're going to turn off TouchFlow 3D in settings go here to items and we're going to turn on Windows default hit OK now when we get to our home page okay it's uh read there we go 
<coughs> that gum, sorry. Here's Windows Mobile 6.5's default screen. This is what you'll see by default on non-HTC devices unless they have their own. Uh, Samson has, you know, some. all the companies are coming out with their own shell on top of Windows Mobile, but this is the default Windows Mobile. And if you want to watch the pure videos that I put out and the other, uh, the Touch Diamond 2 with 6.5, I'll go into a little more detail on 6.5 there. But it kind of simply works like this. You've got pictures. You can actually flip through the pictures here on the home page. That's the thing they wanted to get with uh, this was to have more data and ability to launch more things from this front page and there's no flipping on there. Here's a getting started tab. This goes away after you do all this. You set the clock. Uh, well, I went the wrong way. Set the clock, set up your email, device lock, password, Bluetooth, set up, that up, set up your background you want to use, your ringtone, your music, import, and then you're done. And when you hit done, this tab goes away. Okay. I've got to actually go down here and tell it it's tell it tell it I'm done, I think. Eh, anyway, I'm not gonna try to do that on camera, but and then we got phone, no uh recent missed calls, and you click on it and it brings up your phone. Voicemail, no voicemails. If you click on it, it should take you to well, voicemail's not configured. I hadn't set up voicemail on this number yet. So, but if you click on it, it brings you to voicemail. That's where you default at, and that's your your uh, time right there. And uh, there's nothing really to do there. But if you click on it, it brings up where you can set up your alarms and everything. Text message. It tells you I got no text messages, no MMS or whatever. And then I click on there, and it should bring up text message list there, which I have none, so it shows none email it tells me I have no new emails you click on it and there's my email inbox calendar no appointments if I want to start a new appointment click right there I don't so get me out of here and then favorites you can set up some Internet Explorer favorites here Add and remove blah 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 so that's uh, Windows Mobile 6.5's today's screen per se and I believe that's about all I want to show you I we want to go into the start menu I would show you all this stuff but you I mean you've seen this you've got office mobile here and this takes you to your today's screen however let me let's do this I want to show you this let's go back to start let's go back to settings and you know if you if you're using a device with touch flow 3d on it I really don't believe Ah, crap, get out of there. I really don't believe you're going to want to go to the Today screen. But let's just say, for instance, yeah, it's launching TouchFlow 3D, and there it is, it's done. Let's say, for instance, you did want to look at the de Today screen. I mean, the TouchFlow 3D takes over the Today screen. It's a shell that sits on top. But let's just say that you wanted to see the Today screen. Wow, okay, that was supposed to take us to the actual Windows Mobile 6.5 today screen. I am not embarrassed because I thought that it was supposed to, but it didn't. Okay, so it took me right back to here. All right, but anyway, let's go through here. Uh, mobile web, office mobile, contacts, messaging, app center, which I'm not going to demonstrate the app center. It's uh, it's going to want me to download and install. Oh, no, this is... I'm. I'm trying to look at this little bit of stuff through. It's got the same icon as the Windows or the Marketplace. This is uh, AT&T's Media Mall, where they're trying to sell you their apps. Okay, here's the App Store I'm talking about. This is the new Windows Mobile App Store, and it's wanting me. You can use Marketplace for your mobile to download. Blah blah blah. Would you like to download and install Marketplace now? No. Um, it's a pretty anemic catalog right now. But it will get bigger. I can. I have much faith that it's going to get bigger because there's a lot of good things about the marketplace and how it works. The um, you'll be able to order, or not order, but download and install applications from the directly from the phone over the air and bill it to your, you know, AT&T account or 
bill it to your own credit card or however you want to pay it's uh it's gonna be pretty ingenious but right now they're kind of they're kind of low on uh applications as opposed well with the if, with the iPhone app store you know people expect Windows Mobile to have seven seventy seven thousand million applications like they have I guess so <clears throat> on AT and T device you can get used to it there's a lot of applications or and games that are trialware Bubble Breaker Solitaire and Teeter. Bubble, ba Bubble Breaker and Solitaire come with Windows Mobile devices. Teeter comes with an HTC device with a um, <coughs> with a G sensor set up. And uh, the other stuff there's not stuff you want to mess around with unless you really want to buy it. Oops, I went right back into there. Look at me. I'm trying to drag. Okay, and you got your phone icon, message and app center, mobile video settings. I'm trying to do this through the viewfinder. It's not working out too good. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to lean over here and look at this. AT&T Wi-Fi apps. These are apps that have been put on by AT&T as well. Well, Facebook is a Microsoft app. And uh, there you have it. I should hit back again. I hit that. Camera, Active Sync, Opera, blah, blah, blah. So basically that's it. And I'm do, done with the demo. This is Windows Mobile 6.5 on the AT&T Tilt 2. And I will try to uh, answer any questions on Mobility Site once we get the review up. And check that out for it. It'll be, full review should be in about two weeks. I want to give it plenty of time to get find out all the quirks and whatnot. I, I've been using the Touch Flow or the uh, Touch Pro 2, the European version for the last four months, so I know it's a great device, but I was running 6.1 on mine, and this is 6.5, which is a little better than 6.1, but not heads and shoulders. So, Anyway, ChrisLeckmissMobilitySite.com, thanks for watching.